and in our own local forecast, we go from exceptional heat, in fact, tying the record yesterday of 98 to some quickly cooling and forming showers and thunderstorms out there. If you're underneath one of these, unfortunately, this particular storm capable of producing some penny sized hail and gusty winds, uh, but your temperature will drop a good 10, 15 degrees pretty quickly. A severe thunderstorm warning is in effect until 345. Extreme southwestern portions of Dawson County, not including Dawsonville. Really, it's going to be northern Cherokee County, uh, right around that Pickens County line, and this is tracking slowly off to the south and to the southwest. Again, very noisy in Nelson. It is already pouring in ball ground, but the stronger storm just to your north is moving in your direction and will also impact the Cherokee County Regional Airport, uh, kind of heading down that 575-75 corridor. Gusty winds to 60 miles an hour and penny-sized hail are the biggest threats. It'll be into ball ground by 325, but new storm basically developing right over town and on its current heading, it will also impact Canton, uh, perhaps Lake Alatoona getting over to Holly Springs. If you're already out and about on the water for this Labor Day weekend, if you hear thunder, please do seek safe harbor, get off the water, let the storm pass, and then conditions will gradually improve. We're going to keep that isolated, kind of hit or miss chance of showers and thunderstorms on through early evening. As soon as the sun sets, we're going to lose some of the ingredients needed to keep showers and thunderstorms going. So especially the after dinner plans, the later plans this evening, we're looking pretty dry. Out the door tomorrow morning, mild, it's humid, 75 in Atlanta, waking up to 60s. Ella J, Helen, 73. And Eaton Tanner from there, we will warm up, but still a nice start tomorrow morning for the coffee walk. It'll be a little humid. Again, temperatures uh, pretty warm for a start tomorrow, and they will remain warm through the afternoon. So if you're headed out to the Saturday uh, Dragon Con Parade, temperatures in the mid 80s by 11 a.m. by 1 p.m. early afternoon, we're already pushing 90. And once again, with the heat of the day, Temperatures peaking in the low and in spots mid 90s like Eatonton will get those clouds growing taller and some showers and thunderstorms popping up a good Saturday before Labor Day to have a first alert weather app. Make sure the lightning and precipitation alerts are turned on right here in the first alert weather app and you'll be alerted through notification that storms are approaching your plans, your neighborhood and your community. A similar forecast Sunday, 30% chance of rain. Neither day is a washout, neither day a first alert weather day. Our chance of rain on Labor Day gets just a bit of a boost. Once again, isolated to widely scattered, not a, a plan ruiner, but we'll keep an eye on the forecast. And if it indeed trends any wetter, uh, we'll put on that first alert weather day. Give you that update right here on Atlanta News First and in the first alert weather app. Tuesday, Wednesday, isolated showers and storms continue. And notice how we trend cooler highs in the afternoons back in the upper 70s, lower 80s. We could have more 60s as we get into next Thursday and Friday mornings.